We're going to talk about measure six of the blues and how to not eat shit there. So we're going to start with the one chord on measure one in C. C7. Four chord, measure two. Back to the one chord, measure three and four. Now measure five. We're going to go to the four chord again. F. And then we're going to go to F sharp diminished. I want to play it up here and just show you one thing. If I take this C, the second voice in that chord, and move it back a half step, that chord, that's a B7 second inversion. So that's sort of a dominant chord built on the major seventh of that key, key of C. And that's sort of the perfect sound to play over that diminished chord. Let's hear it in context. I'm gonna go. So that sound simplifies things. Those of you who have some vocabulary with diminished know that it's very hard to visualize, but these dominant chords are much easier. And if you're playing lines, something you could just really think about is just going a half step down from where the key is and playing a dominant arpeggio right at that spot. So let's check out some lines and see how this could work. I have measure three, measure five, and here. Again. What did I do there? Just arpeggiated that B7. So that sound over that F sharp diminished seven and then resolve back to the one chord something that's very powerful is resolving that into a tension we've talked about that in a different video but as I move to the one chord from that chord moved from that B7 arpeggio and landed on the 6 of that C. Here's the 9. Now, you can also use that sound on measure two. This is a great substitution for the four chord. You can go. I can stand it for two measures. Now, why does it work? Well, it's the tritone sub of that F7 that comes from the symmetric diminished scale. So here's a different sound for a blues. Again, a little bit more out there, but pretty cool.
Very cool trick, right? Cool. Subscribe to the channel, hit all the buttons, like the thing, join our Patreon. See you next time.